What is going on everybody and welcome back to the Knowles TX YouTube channel. I appreciate you for stopping by today. We have something pretty cool that we're going to look at. I picked up a G-Code holster from tacticalholsters.com and I kind of pieced it together myself. They have some already built kits that you can buy, but uh, the Black Friday deals were too good to pass up and I'm looking to try to get into competitive shooting. So let's go ahead and crack into it and see what we got. I ordered this from uh, Chico the other day. It was Black Friday. Check my invoice. We have contact series, operator's belt, 1.75 inches. Uh, belt size large, color multicam black, cobra buckle type, cobra with chrome D-ring. The black D-ring was a couple dollars extra. The chrome D-ring was a couple dollars extra too, but I figured the deals were so good on Black Friday, I might as well go and pick it up. We have three soft shell scorpion rifle mag carriers and two soft shell scorpion pistol mag carriers, the tall ones. Let's check it out. I'm just gonna dump this on the table and see what we got. There we go. Throw all this paper away eventually. And let's see what we got, man. Our multicam black belt is looking great. I don't know what that little dot is, little character dot. Let's check, uh, let's check this cover. Uh -oh. Not too bad. So this model does come with the inner and outer belt. They do have an option on their website. Um, it's a $15 option. If you wanted to have them install everything onto your belt, uh, they will do that. Now, I know that's with the um, with the already ready built, or I should say uh, pre-assembled, or that's not even the right word. They're, they're kit builds that they will uh, sell you. But I kind of piece this one together to get kind of a good deal, try to get what I wanted. Um, and also, I wanted a specific color on my carriers. So... Let's check them out. So the carriers that I got are black and green. And I just thought that that looked so good. I thought that that would go great with our uh, multicam black. Um, you can see kind of the color pattern I was going for. And I love it. I didn't want all black. I wanted it, you know, I didn't want tan or coyote or something. But um, I figured this black and green would look great now something a guy at work the other day showed me is there are some imitators out there on amazon or ebay or something um so i'll just be on the lookout i don't know the quality of those i can't speak on those um but these do look very well made a very nice kind of rubbery silicone insert and they are adjustable with this um elastic strap let's check out one of our pistols huh one of our pistol carriers now i got the tall because i shoot a lot of um sub guns a lot of pistol caliber carbines and really if i'm gonna be shooting any kind of competition with a pistol um, it's not going to be, you know, like a seven round, um, 1911 mag or anything. It's going to be a full size. So I figured the tall would be best for me. I really didn't want the short, but the short are, uh, available. Um, they do have those different options on their website and they do kind of have a side by side comparison. So today we're going to be looking at the tall pistol mags and we'll check out both of these. And really, I want to see, uh, if we can't figure out as some first timers, how to get all these installed on our new belt. So I think first things first is I'll set the pistol carriers off to the side and their attachments. These are, um, see if it says it on here. I cannot, there we go, P2. So pistol number two style of clip or retainer. 
and you can see our screws are included. And the rifle carriers are in R2, so as the, um, the rifle and the number two style clip and retainer. Uh, that's another thing about uh, what that guy was showing me about those eBay or Amazon models is uh, they looked a little cheap on the actual how you would connect it to a belt. So that's just something else to be aware of if you're looking at getting yourself a pistol belt or rifle belt or competition belt or war belt, whatever we call this. We're just going to call it our, uh, our belt today. So I'm just checking out this clip. I'm seeing everything for the first time. Kind of excited. I did hear that they're kind of a booger to uh, unclip once you clip it to the belt. So that's going to be something we'll have to play with later. Learn how that works. We'll take a another real close look. I'm going to go ahead and separate the inner belt from the outer belt. And you can see our inner belt is just Velcro, Velcro line. This is not a uh, this is not a padded belt, um, but it is you know relatively soft considering. So how you would install this is this is what you'd actually put on you know through your belt loops and around your pants. This is what would be holding your pants up. You can attach it with this G hook here to this little spot. Tighten this down and get it on your persons. And then once this is around uh, and through your belt loops, you can leave your gear and your belt, everything off you until you're ready to grab it and go. And once you're ready, you just grab it and lace it around yourself and it sticks to the Velcro. Pretty cool. So you can see our Cobra buckle here. Pretty good looking buckle. The... Um, D hook, like I was saying, is a little bit extra. Uh, I think it's kind of an expensive option. I want to say for the chrome one, it might be $18, and for the black one, I think $23. But like I said, their uh, their Black Friday deals were so good, I went ahead and got it. Now I'm thinking I'm going to put my rifle mags on the left side for the most part. So I'll have to figure out just exactly where and how I want to mount these. So I got everything kind of laid out. I'm just going to look at the instructions because I will probably mess something up if I don't. So I ran out to the garage real quick and grabbed me a appropriate sized screwdriver for our screw and the directions do recommend a drop of blue loctite for the screws but for right now i think that i'm going to get everything kind of set up because these can ride in different um, positions and i don't exactly know where i'm going to want my carrier riding at just yet that's crazy huh you could I don't know. Just trying to get an idea for it. I'll probably install mine how they would from uh, from their shop, and just do something simple. And uh, yeah, be back in a second. So here is one of them that I just finished up. Um, I kind of put it down just one notch. Maybe I can have it ride a little lower on my belt. I think I might like that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest like this knock it out, and then see where I might want them placed on the belt itself. All right, now I have all three of them kind of mocked up, and I guess uh, I'm just going to start guessing, and I'm going to sling this belt on me and figure out where exactly I would like the wind blew my door open. I've been leaving the doors cracked today. It feels great outside. So I'm just going to throw this belt on and see where I would like uh, like these mags to sit. I'm gonna check it out. All right, so after a little bit of playing around, I uh, you can see here that this is how I had originally set up the carriers. And then I was like, you know, I'd like it a little lower. That way the center of gravity would hold it a little tighter to my body. And so I tried to lower it one notch 
and then well, I actually flipped it and lowered it, you know, uh, to its uh, highest notch, and then lowered it to its lowest point. And this lowest point actually holds this top heavy AK mag pretty pretty close to my body. So I don't like how these stick up kind of high, um, but I think that's the position I'm going to run them. I'm uh, I'm gonna flip these two over, put a little blue Loctite on them, and I think I'm gonna run them as low as I can get them, uh, just cause that's the way it fits me, and that's the way I like it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set that up real quick. Now something to keep in mind, which I thought was pretty cool, I was thinking, you know, if I move all these to uh, the clips being on the top, well, we might run into some issue uh, down the road. And what if a clip breaks? You know, are you just going to lose your mag? Is it is your whole carrier just going to slide out? And while playing with these and moving them in and out, it's not going to be the case. These are actually held in pretty solidly. And if I can pull this out, I'll show you how. But you'll see... I've been having to fiddle with it. Don't mind those. These little clips you can pop on and off. But let me see. Pull this out real quick. I see real quick. So this should tell you if you're running under load, bouncing around, this really isn't going anywhere. If I had a flathead screwdriver, I'd probably stick it in here and help me out. But let's go ahead and see if I can't flip it and show you what, what's happening. These have a clip, well I shouldn't say a clip, but a fish hook type effect on a piece of cloth inside, inside the uh, belt. So to overcome that, I'll kind of put a little slack in it and try to wiggle it past that, uh, that point that it's catching on. Well. see that when you are running it with the uh, clip at the top you really don't run into a risk of it falling out because of this hook that sits in there so I just wanted to show you all that real quick you can see that the R2 clips slide into this style of belt and you just set your clips in So, not too bad. I'm running it uh, three spaces from the actual buckle. I typically wear uh, anywhere from like 32 to 36 pants. Now, I, I know that sounds like a wild uh, range, but I think my work pants are like 36s. I wear typically uh, 5'11s with the little stretchy pants in them, so you can never really tell when you're getting weight. But uh, they're just best for moving up and down and all around. They give me a little movement. So I would say I wear about a 34 in this large belt. Um, I'm reading the invoice. It's good for about 36 inches to 40 inches. And it's uh, it's almost too big, but it fits good, if that makes sense. I have uh, a little bit of slack here left over. That's how much slack I have left over. I mean, so I'm probably sitting right about where I wanna be. Um, I'd rather have a little extra slack than to be strung out, you know, all the way with barely any, uh, barely any slack in it. Something else I wanted to mention, now would be a good time for you to adjust your slack in your carriers. All mine are pretty well adjusted, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it back on and test fit everything again and see how it's looking all right so we have the belt relatively set up uh mags about the height that i'd want them uh they fit for me at a good position for me to reach and grab i can still move i have all range of motion or whatever and uh the man you know fix it how you like it for me i think this is about 
where I'm going to want them to ride. I went ahead and threw on a holster to give me an idea uh, where my holster is going to ride and where I can put these pistol mags. I'm thinking of putting one in front of my holster and I left me enough room over here on the left side for a mag. I think I'm going to put a mag over there. Really, if I could have it my way, I would run my pistol mags pretty, uh, pretty up front, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that with, uh, my adjustment right here, my, uh, all the slack I have coming back into the belt. And I want to be able to adjust it, you know, without interfering with any of my mags and having to wiggle around it or anything. So I think I'll squeeze a mag in here and one mag over there and we'll see how that feels. All right, so after a little bit of playing with the, where I wanted to put the pistol mags, eh, still kind of undecided. Now, if we wanted to, we could uh, double up our mags and you can actually attach your pistol mags, or I should say the carriers to the rifle carriers, but that's a little too crazy for me. Um, the kind of competitions I'm looking to shoot at, uh, as of right now, are rifle only. So theoretically, I just pull the pistol mags off and run it, you know, with just our rifle mags on here. But I just wanted to give you a look at how I've got it set up as, uh, for right now. Everything I'm running is as low as possible. It's just, uh, when I, when I reach for stuff, it's kind of in that uh, Goldilocks zone where I want it to be. And it's not too high, it's not too low. And uh, for my holster, I just threw on a, a Smoky Mountain Concealment holster for a Canik. And it's actually uh, nice and secure, no complaints there. But we'll throw it on the table and uh, check it out one last time. So here we go. Uh, we got it on here. And you can see I've got all my clips facing up. Uh, they are a lot more concealed when they're facing down. But uh, as far as having the belt ride on me the way I like it, they're going to face up. So there we have it. That's our black multicam G-Coda belt. I'm pretty impressed with it. I mean, the quality is really nice. This is a... Uh, that Cordura is really strong feeling. I mean... I'm pretty happy with everything. Flip it around real quick. So I got the uh, Scorpion carriers because I run an AK. So these uh, these carriers actually retain these mags very well. I mean, it's not too small. When you go to take them out, I mean, it is perfect. I was uh, I was ripping them in and out when I was off camera trying to get that tension just right. And I mean, I'm, I got a lot of faith in these. Pretty impressed. Well, guys, if uh, if y'all have any questions, ask them down in the comments. I'll be uh, more than happy to help. I'm just showing uh, showing y'all what I'm going through, trying to get everything set up. If y'all want to see something really cool, I have a carrier, a uh, chest rig that I think I'm gonna run with this also. And really for what I'm doing, I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted a chest rig or a, a belt. So I'm going to train with both and see which one I like the most. But I'll give you a little sneak peek of the chest rig because I can guarantee you, uh, guarantee it, you have not seen one yet like it. Here's just a little sneak peek of our chest rig. American made, multi-cam black. Type 56. I'm gonna have a separate video on this. And this three cell, it's gonna be really cool. I'm really excited for this. But everyone, I appreciate y'all stopping by. If y'all like what y'all saw, hit that like button. If y'all wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate y'all stopping by and I will catch y'all next time.